Hi everybody, it's Freak, and I just wanted to walk through one of my reviews with you. About November the 28th, I ordered a cat suit from Latex Catfish. The suit came in, I believe, the 16th, and I've got it sitting right here. I'm running on two cameras, so hopefully that uh, the second camera is picking this up. Uh, I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm also going to walk through the process of how I ordered the suit. That way it will help you out, you know, how, you know, if you order a suit, some of the process of ordering from Latex Catfish. Latex Catfish is going to be the first suit this year I am reviewing. Uh, another YouTube poster uh, actually got a suit that I have in the wish list. He got it and he has his review up. Uh, so it definitely you can do a search on that. Uh, his name is Whiteout does some really great videos uh, and it's funny because I was hoping I'd get my suit before he got his. I've uh, never talked to the gentleman but I've followed him on YouTube. I follow him on a couple of the other uh, channels but you know luck would have it he ordered his suit a couple days before I got you know before I ordered mine. So got the suit I've got the box sitting right here I'm gonna open it up show you what I got. Uh, the funny thing about this suit was I ordered a suit with a standard hood separate to it. The hood was $25 extra. Uh, and they emailed me about a week ago and said that uh, they were out of uh, the gas mask I ordered and if I, they could substitute it with another gas mask hood. I, I didn't order a gas mask hood and I told them I ordered a standard hood uh, that they must be mistaken. So we're gonna find out if I actually get the hood I ordered or did they actually send a you know a hundred dollar gas mask hood? I'm kind of excited about that. So Latex Catfish, uh, it is a Chinese company. They are on the lower end of budgets for latex. I have one of their suits that I bought about five years ago. It's my Spider-Man suit, which I will review later on. It's five years old, not had any problems with it, so I'm kind of excited and hope I don't have any problems with this. Again, I know other people who have had problems. It's kind of a you know different people are going to have different experiences you know my experience was good but not necessary is always going to be consistent unlike other manufacturers uh, i've ordered suits from invincible mr s uh, uh, str rubber all of them great suits but they are also more expensive uh, so this one's going to be you know exciting at least for me hopefully and hopefully you guys get something out of this too if you're in the market you know to buy inexpensive latex fetish clothing this would be great i'm wearing my dog hood i'm also going to review this this is not a mr s hood this is actually a wish hood i paid 15 dollars for it okay so uh, i just want to see what it was like in mr s i think around like 109 or 119 something like that 15 dollars. that's why there's three of them behind me or two plus this one so let's get to this so on the other camera this is going to be the invoice i've got the suit itself was $218. I did have it custom to my body. I'm a very thin, tall person. So I did have it custom made with my measurements. And with shipping and everything, it came to $323.60. Uh, so unlike my Spider-Man suit, this one actually came in a box and I was very happy about that. Uh, the other one came in a bag from China. Uh, so let us take a look at it. I already cut the tape on this so I could flip it open. I have not flipped it open yet. I've had this thing for 24 hours. Uh, I'm very excited about seeing what's in it. So I'm hoping that the excitement uh, transfers over to the video. Uh, and then once I open this and we take a look at it, I will show you the process of how I ordered it to help you out is, you know, if you want to order something from them. So with that being said, it was a basic white box, nothing really on it. Um, so I was impressed. Inside, you can see that better than I can. Uh, it says latex catfish on the inside of the box. In the box, I see a gas mask hood. <laughs> they gave me some latex extra pieces, any kind of repair I might have to do. So that's nice. Um, it, is a, it is a latex gas mask hood. So it's not the hood I ordered. But uh, I'm not going to complain. 
Uh, I know that the, the other person who re reviewed theirs uh, said that their uh, latex smelled like chocolate and mine smells like chocolate. <laughs> Somebody was eating some sort of candy bar in the market. Uh, it looks like it's just a, a regular uh, you know, gas mask that they added some extra to it uh, with a zipper. So, you know, it's regular gas masks. Not that I'm complaining. Like I said, basically I paid $25 for this. So I'll, I'll take it for that price. Uh, I'm going to set this, actually, let me put this back in the bag. I also have a pet, and I really don't want pet hair all over that. So this is what I ordered. And now, a long time ago, I used to road race motorcycles, and I had an Alpine Star suit. It was basically black, white, and red. And I saw they had this and decided I wanted this suit pretty badly. And let's see what we have here. High quality Ziploc baggies. You see? It, this, it smells like chocolate. I, I have to admit, <laughs> it smells like chocolate. Uh, the latex on this, although is 0.4, um, I kind of wish I went a little thicker, maybe a 0.6 in this. It looks very, very thin. Uh, I mean, it's, it's so far, it's a nice looking suit. Uh, just a little thinner than the other suits I've had. Uh, it is a front zip suit. And it has the Alpine Star logo. I'm going to stand up so I can show you what I got here. So that's the suit. And here shortly I'll be putting this on and showing you what it looks like. The zipper on this goes from the front of the chest up here down around into the back. Um, looks okay it, it does smell like chocolate surprisingly enough so um, I don't know about this but this is custom to my body that's the big thing is is how well it fits so far the length looks about right from shoulder down the thighs look good um, arm length looks about right for me so let's find out what this was so in the meantime while I'm putting this on I will walk you through the video that I shot, how I ordered this. And then when we get back from that, that gives me a chance to put this on. We'll test it and see what's going on. All right, so let's get that started. So I've opened up Latex Catfish website. On their website, they have more choices up here of women's, men, friends, cosplay, heavy accessories, and action. I already started an account, so I have an account here. And when I ordered this suit that you saw, I went into men's cat suits. Once men's cat suits come up, I always try to do have it show 50 per page. Makes it a little easier to scroll. I already chose 50 earlier, and I know that the suit that I ordered is on page two. But they have many different suits, and this one caught my eye. It just so happens that I used to have a leather suit exactly like this. And I thought it'd be fun to have a, a rubber suit now. They have pictures of the suit that you can click on. That's any of their suits. It'll show you the back. Usually it will show you the sides as well. And the front. And not everything they show is part of the suit. So in this case, the helmet, of course, the gloves. The hood is not the boots but it'll give you an idea of what you're looking at what it will also show is when you customize it you can change the colors the main is black the trim is red the main two is a cream white and the main three in this particular case is a metallic pewter now when i made mine i made it black white red and black i didn't go with the pewter my 
leather suit is not pewter, it's black as well. So once you decide which suit you want, it will tell you how many days it will take to custom make it if you want, or if you're getting just off the shelf, how many days it will take to make. It comes in 0.4 millimeter thickness, which is actually a fine thickness for a cat suit if you're going to be out and about. Uh, if you want something thicker, I would recommend like pants or, uh, you know, even thicker if you're going to go with something like a straight jacket, you know, something that's more of a bondage type thing, which they do actually have up in their choices here. But in this case, 0.4 is fine. You want to choose male or female. You have an option of powder dry, dry inside and silicone outside, and they charge $15 more for that. Silicone inside and out, which they charge $25 for that. Or chlorinization, which takes another two weeks for $50. I went with the powder dry. I'll take care of the silicone on the outside myself. Next option is zipper option. You have a back zipper with a crotch zipper all the way through. So it's one zipper with three poles on it. You have a front zipper with the crotch zipper that goes all the way to the back. That's the one I went with. Then you have one way back zipper, one way front zipper. You have shoulder zippers, neck entry, or diagonal across the chest. So you do have many choices on that. Sock options, you can have socks added and it will give you the price of them if you add socks. I went without socks because I'll be wearing my own socks and boots. Without gloves, the same thing. You can add gloves. Uh, you can have them attached or separate. And I've got a couple pair of gloves so I didn't worry about gloves. The hood option, I actually did go with the hood option. It's only $25. You're not going to find many hoods for $25. So I decided to go with that one. So I did pick that. If you notice, as I pick that, it did show the price up here, so it is reflected up here. The main color. This is where I chose black. That was the one up by the shoulders. Thickness is fine. Main color too. That's where they had the white. Uh, and they went with cream white. I'm going with pure white. Thickness is fine. The main color three. This is where they went with the metallic pewter. I went with black again. And you don't have to use the colors they show or what I'm picking. You can actually pick your own color combination, which makes it kind of, you know, cool. Again, 0.4 is fine. The trim color, I did go with red. And the same thickness. Here you can choose either off the shelf sizing and the size chart. They can show you what sizes for men or women of what those are. So, and it doesn't in centimeters. You can go to Google and do a centimeter to inches conversion and it'll show you what the sizes are. In my case, I wanted to go with customization because I am a tall, thin person. So I went and created a made to measure. What I like about made to measure is that not only, and this is where you would add it, Can you add your measurements and I did it in inches and in metric all the way across so it's the same numbers just inches metric but at the very top of this it does have videos it goes line by line of what they're talking about so number one would match number one here number two matches number two here and how to measure it probably the biggest thing is it does help to have a second person help you measure it if you measure it by yourself you measure at least two to three times to make sure you're coming up with the same measurements. When I measured myself, I did it by myself and I actually used just a little piece of tape to hold the tip of the measurement to my arm or leg or, or inseam to get my measurements, but I did it three times to make sure that it was the same number each time. Uh, it's a lot harder to do by yourself. So I would definitely recommend a friend or family member. They don't need to know it's a latex suit. You can just say you're getting a suit made. Um, but I would definitely recommend a second person but if you can't you know a little piece of tape a little you know duct tape or, or masking tape works fine so once you get that done and you get that all taken care of you can actually just hit the add to cart from there it is pretty much you know pick your payment shipping charges if your shipping depends on where you're shipping in the world is going to differ in my case it was $37 for this suit and then now it's just time to wait you do have a color chart option and it will show you 
what colors you're talking about. So light blue, black, red, turquoise. It has the transparent colors and has the metallic colors. And you can click on any of these pictures and we'll show you a bigger picture of what that color is. So definitely take your time, pick you know, the colors you like, and then once you're ready to order, order it, pay it. And then like I said, probably about four to six weeks is what it usually takes. But for latex, customized and inexpensive, this is not my first suit from you know, latex catfish. Uh, my Spider-Man suit, which I'll show in a later video, also is you know latex catfish. It's four years old and I've had no problems with it. Um, so can't complain. I also have Invincible Rubber and Libidex suits and they're excellent, but I also paid more for them. And this is the suit, folks. It's snug. They were pretty much spot on for measurements from what I gave them. I gave them both in inches and centimeters. I did that on Google where I had it in inches and then uh, got the centimeters. You know, there's a, a bunch of those uh, calculations on Google. Definitely can do that. Uh, I don't think you have to, but I did it because I wanted to make absolutely certain. So length, weight, everything. I don't think I'd want to gain any weight. This probably wouldn't fit. I was a little apprehensive zipping it up around the uh, lower waist side. But this is a suit. It's definitely, you know, got that uh, road racer look to it, which I wanted. Uh, I'll take some actually better videos of this and, and upload them later on. Uh, this was just literally something I wanted to do right before the end of day. So this is my old road race helmet, which I was surprised I still had. My road race gloves. I still have my road race boots, which I do have on, but it actually looks pretty good. Uh, I, was, I was very impressed. Uh, I will probably order from them one more time. Uh, I want to get a uh, sleep sack. My sleep sack finally bit the dust. I'm going to have that custom made and I'll get that done. As you can tell, it's just a little after nine o'clock here in the uh, uh, Midwest. Uh, and I am going to uh, wear this for a little bit of time. I'm going to wash it. I'm going to vivishine it. Uh, I'm going to also be able to shine my pants I had on on the earlier part of the video uh, and a few other things once I get it shined up and dried out. Uh, I want to take some pictures outside. I don't know it's going to be like in the upper 20s, lower 30 degrees, you know, uh, Fahrenheit. Don't know if I'm going to get a chance to do that or not. I'd like to, uh, but I definitely want to wear this out and uh, see if I can get some reactions as well. Uh, but all in all, so far, you know, it's its first day being on a body. So far, so good. I won't know until I get a few wears in it. Uh, I know other people have gotten a few wears and had some rips or tears or holes. Uh, I won't know until I get some time in the suit. Uh, but so far, so good. Uh, I'm, there's a fetish night tomorrow night, Saturday night. I, I may have found my gear for it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take my helmet, but I definitely would take my hood in this suit. So that's all I've got right now. I really appreciate you watching this. I know it was a long video, but I really want to make sure those people who are just starting out, you know, when they order some of the process of it, you know, I, I, you know, that way, if you have any questions, you can definitely ask me or some other people. Um, if it's worth the money, I will you know, look at this again and, and review this again, probably in about six months, I'll let you know, see if I can get about five or six wears out of it and see what happens. But initial thought, so far, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, no complaints for the price. This would have cost me two to three times more getting it made somewhere else, but it's about the quality. The biggest complaint I have so far is that it was a little on the thin side. I kind of wish I would have bumped that up just a little bit. I was looking at the collar and you know, that collar is pretty thin. Uh, you know, the, the zipper is pretty snug right now for my body size. Uh, you can see uh, piercings. Uh, <laughs> let's hope they don't ever come to the suit. But so far, so good. I'm no, no complaints so far. I really like it. Uh, but you know, if you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. I will answer any questions you have on it. Uh, as always, I appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, if you like it and you like the content and like where it's going, definitely 
you know, leave a comment. Let me know what's going on as far as how you feel, what you'd like me to review. You know, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get as many subscriptions as I can from everybody. Uh, I really want to build this up into a great YouTube video uh, channel. Can't do it without your help. Would appreciate your help on that one. Like I said, any any uh, suggestions, definitely down below. Absolutely, I'll see what I can do. Uh, I want to keep this going for as many you know, months slash years as I can. Uh, and I'm kind of excited about doing it. This was my first review. I apologize for the sound. I know the sound was pretty bad. Uh, I was rushing this. I wanted to spend some more time in post-production. But time frame, I wanted to get this out before the end of uh, January. And I'm pushing my luck. Uh, so, you know, this suit, right? Like I said, you'll see it again a couple more times. Uh, I'm also going to review my latex catfish suit that I got five years ago, which is Spider-Man. It's one of my favorite suits. I love that suit. I just wish they did something different with the eyes. You have a very narrow vision <laughs> in that suit. So it's not something you can run around at night at. Uh, you'll probably end up on, on your rear end. That's all I've got right now. Folks, again, I appreciate it. My name is Freak. And like I said, any questions, definitely ask. I'm always around. All right, until next time, I'll see you then.